and control them so I've done it already I'm going to play the game it's a lot easier for me to show you the final product and go through it rather than me doing it so it will save a lot of time so as you can see when I run he plays a running animation I stop there's an idle animation and I can shoot and he's shooting like that right guys so he can shoot and run at the same time as well so let's go through the process of doing this so let's dive into Maya firstly so this is my Maya file and I've created the animations on my timeline using keyframes I'm just going to zip my tea because my throat's a bit sore <laughs> sorry guys so um, frame 0 and 1 that is the idle animation and nothing happens we could make something happen if we wanted to but just keep things simple frame 1 to 24 is the running animation the guy's arms go from side to side to show that he's running it looks pretty good and 25 and 26 is the actual gun so there's a ricochet there going on so just keeps repeating that for the gun again you can do something else if you want but I wanted to keep things simple and uh, if you've watched my previous videos you'll know how to do this already and we've also got our controls X and Y control the finger curling so just to demonstrate this I can drag this like that and he can open his fingers and it's even a bit unrealistic but we can go out even more so again you'll know how to do this if you follow my videos they're that good so <laughs> with all of this select all your stuff all your models go to file export selection and uh, export it wherever you want remember to bake the animations alright guys export selection and uh, whoops go into unity so here it is planar animations all you need to do is find this little box here split animations yep you want to do that and I've called um, the idle one player idle frame 0 to 1 loop it job done player walk 1 to 24 player shoot 25 to 26 exactly the same that's in Maya so exactly the same put it in your scene and uh, the last thing is to set up the code remember to parent your animations with the second camera the player camera we talked about that in the previous video that's the one <laughs> finally found it um, so if we play the game this is where the ca the uh, animations are and to control the animations we put a script on this player animations object called I called it player animations and this is it in mono develop so Firstly, there's a threshold when I want the animation to stop playing, the run animation, and that's if the guy is going at a speed of less than 0 0.5. Um, and this could be in the negative if he's going backwards or the positive if he's going forwards. Um, so firstly, we actually work out the speed he's going in a vector 3. And firstly, I've declared if the mouse button's down, the left mouse button, play the animation, play a shoot, because no matter what he's doing, if he's running, if he's standing still, if that button is pressed I want him to shoot. Else we do the player walk or the player idle. So if the direction X is greater than 0.5 or less than minus 0.5, do this in the Y and the Z as well, play the animation because he's going at a speed that's greater than 0.5. Alright guys, else play the idle animation. So crossfade and play are two different ways to play animations. Crossfade blends the animations together, but play just kind of snaps it together. Let's demonstrate this now. So when I run and stop, the animation blends to the idle again. If I shoot and stop, the animation blends to the idle or the walk, depending on what you're doing. But if we want to shoot, boom, it snaps into the uh, shoot animation straight away with no blending. And that works well when you're shooting. So, where is it? That's why I've used play for the player shoot. Snap it in straight away. If he's walking or if he's idle, crossfade it. And it doesn't get much more complicated than that, guys. So, attach the script to your uh, animations. You can refer to it in another object if you want. I've just put this dot animation, so it's the same object. And now we're good to go. Our animations are complete. So there you go. If you've been following along, you'll know how to do this from scratch. I mean, I've done this from scratch, like in my previous videos. If you want to learn how to do that, remember to follow along. We've went through the set-driven keys, the Unity setup, and uh, in the future, we're going to put some lighting effects, sound effects, and particle effects and stuff, and put a raycast in here so we can shoot stuff. And uh, the demo will be on UnityChatChannel.com. So check that out, guys. 
unitychatchannel.com. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you've learned something that this is the whole process and the thing is this is good enough for like a semi-professional game now. All we need to do is tweak it to make it a professional game, maybe make the animations a bit more complex, put a bit more detail on the gun and the objects and we're done basically. So that's it guys, thanks for watching the video, I'll see you in the next video. If you need any help, remember to comment, uh, comment this video or send me a message.